Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is another Forgotten Spider-Man Rogue, and I hope you enjoy. This rogue is one who has been requested for me to make a whole video on for quite a while. I've just kept him in the back of my mind until now. The White Dragon, he first fought Spider-Man in The Amazing Spider-Man issues 184 and 185. The White Dragon was the leader of a gang called the Dragon Lords in Chinatown. He bust into a restaurant, Kenos Philip Chang, right in front of Peter Parker. This is also Philip Chang's first appearance. Spider-Man intervenes, tries to stop Dragon from taking Chang, but the rogue knocks out Spider-Man with gas that shoots from, from his costume, knocking Spider-Man out, and in that time, he chains Spider-Man over a giant container of oil. He lights the oil on fire with his costume because he can shoot fire out of his uh, helmet's nose, and then he drops Spider-Man right into it. Spidey gets out, of course, I won't say how, and goes back to taking over all the gangs in Chinatown, becoming the head of the criminals there. But Spider-Man comes back and easily bests him, dodging his razor claws and avoiding his heat, breath, and gas. This rogue actually returned in Marvel Team-Up issue 144. Do Yang, leader of the Tiger's Claw Warrior Society, was murdered by a white dragon, who hopes to assert his dominance over Chinatown along with his dragon lords. Philip Ching returns in this story and confronts the rogue again. He refuses to fight, and the dragon pushes him all around. Until Moon Knight easily knocks him out. He had a story in Spectacular Spider-Man Annual 12. In this story, he's a bad guy who the Prowler takes down, just as simple as that. He was in Dark Rain Mr. Negative, Issue 1. At this time, the White Dragon is working for the Hood and is sent to negotiate with Mr. Negative, who in turn possesses White Dragon, making him attack the Hood's base, but ultimately White Dragon fails at that. After that, he continued to work for Mr. Negative, getting beaten by the hero Jackpot later. In September 2014, the villain died in Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, Volume 2, Issue 3. He fights Shang-Chi, then gets decapitated willingly by Chi's brother called Midnight Sun. And that was the White Dragon, with him being involved in the gangs in his first few stories. I think it would have fit him in very nicely in the Spider-Man 3 movie game, since a lot of side content was about the rival gangs in New York. What a missed opportunity. He may be in the new Spider-Man games, though, as Philip Chang was a mission giver in the first game. And yeah, that was the White Dragon. I was surprised. I didn't know that he died all the way back in 2014. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and have a great day.